What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. If at any point in this video you find this video helpful, then please leave a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future tutorials. Okay guys, so this tutorial was actually recommended by one of you guys. Um, unfortunately, I can't find the comment at the moment. If I find the comment by the time I'm editing this video, then I'll put it on screen now. If not, then I apologise for that. But someone did comment this one, so thanks for the suggestion. So with their suggestion, they actually gave a video along with it. And it basically was a Fortnite montage and it had lots of individual clips which had been reversed all together as one. So instead of having to go through and reverse each clip individually, I'm going to show you how to actually just reverse them all at once with a couple clips. Now what I'm going to do is first get some media and get some clips to actually put into this video. I'm going to choose some clips from my recent abandoned building exploration video. If you haven't seen that video I'd recommend checking it out if you aren't of that sort of thing because it was quite a fun video to make. But yeah I'm going to start by doing that by clicking on import media. So yeah for the purposes of this video I am just going to literally do some random clips. Uh, I assume you will already have an idea of the footage you want to reverse and that's why you're looking for this tutorial. So I'm just going to choose some random ones here and we'll use these as an example. So these are the clips here. What I'm going to do is drag and drop them into the timeline and I'm going to click yes just so the project matches the video settings. Now I can see I've actually got 19 minutes worth of footage here. I'm not going to want this many clips. So I'm just going to start cutting this and slicing this until we'll have just maybe about 10 to 20 seconds worth of footage. Also a quick tip for when you're cutting videos. If you turn on this tool here, which is the auto ripple tool. When you cut a clip and you want to delete a piece of a clip. When you delete that clip it will automatically fill in the gap. So instead of you having to manually move everything like so and it will take quite a while if there's a lot of clips you can just literally delete the clip and it'll automatically fill in the space and push everything down so yeah quick tip there i did also include that tip in my hotkeys videos for vegas pro so if you want to check that out then that is somewhere on my channel as well okay i'm going to delete the last clips here um but this is going to be my little example here you can see that i've got nine clips here and what i want to do in the end is play it backwards so it would essentially play like this now one way to do this would be by right clicking on each of the clips and reversing them. But the problem with that is if we do want it to go fully from this side all the way back to the start, we'd need to actually rearrange them so this clip is actually at the front, if that makes sense. Because at the moment it's just flipping those clips individually and reversing the clips individually. But we want it to play all of those clips backwards, if that makes sense. So instead of going We'll play this one backwards, then this one backwards, then this one backwards, then this one backwards. We want it to just start here, and we'll want it to play all of these back to front. So we'd start with this clip and would end with this clip. So instead of right clicking and reversing on all of these, what we are going to do is actually render out what we have here. So if we click at the top here and drag along, we can create what is known as a loop region. Now this loop region, what we can do with this is if we right click in this darker grey area, we can click on render to new track this will render anything within that area to a new track so if we click on that and i'm going to choose internet hd 1080p at 60 fps because that's what i usually usually and then you can choose where you want it to render to so i'm going to choose the reverse multiple clips folder i have set up and i'm just going to call it before reverse just so i know what this clip is about so i know this is the rendered clip before it's been reversed so i'm going to click save and i'm going to click render and with it being such a short clip it shouldn't take too long remember if you have got a lot more clips it'll take longer and also if you are rendering at a higher frame rate or maybe your computer is not as good it's going to take longer as well okay so we're approaching the end here and you'll be able to see that once it's done it's created a new track here and we've got the new clip here so this clip at the top is the exact same as all of these clips at the bottom. Now what you can do is actually delete these clips at the bottom. You can keep them if you really want to, if you need them. But in this case, I don't need them, so I'm going to delete them. And I'm actually going to delete the tracks as well. So I'm going to right click at the beginning and I'm going to click delete track and delete track. And now we are left with one single clip, which if you look, it is still cutting between those smaller clips that we had before. And now all we've got to do, guys, is right click on this clip 
and click reverse. And then we'll go with just reverse that entire selection of clips in a much shorter amount of time. Now I know that some of you will say, oh Robert, it probably would have been quicker to just reverse them all individually then render it out yeah okay i know i know it may have been quicker to reverse them all individually instead of rendering it out but let's say you have like a couple hundred or a couple thousands of clips even if you have many 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 clips it's going to be way quicker to just render them all and then reverse it in bulk instead of going through each clip individually and reversing them and then having to reorder them so this is a much quicker way if there is a lot of clips if you are just going to be doing it with about two or three clips i would say just reverse those clips individually and reorder them um but yeah so if, if it's on a larger scale this method will come in handy but that is going to be where i end this video today guys so if you did find the video helpful at any point then please leave a like down below it's much appreciated and also if you want to see future tutorials then subscribe to the channel and lastly if you would like to suggest any tutorials for future videos then just tell me in the comments down below but that's going to be it for this video guys so i'll see you in the next video of whatever i make bye bye